So we are back for our second round of IVF. Um, trying to get Maggie a little sibling. We got one more uh, embryo on ice that we're gonna start the whole process again. Basically, this is day one all over again. Um, they'll take us in, make sure we're somewhat healthy and not related, and <laughs> then uh, start the process. What do you think? Yeah, we have to do a hysteroscopy. They go in and look at my uterus with a camera, make sure my C-section scar looks good from the inside and I have no polyps and all that good stuff. So, and we also have to do a ultrasound and lots of blood work today. I think it's like a two hour process. Mm. And I think it's like $2,500. Yay! <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's priceless. You can't, as fun as Maggie is, you could never put a price tag on it. No, it's and all worth it. When she starts pissing me off when she's 13, maybe. <laughs> No. But right She's now, a good no. girl. Okay, well, we'll try to take you along a little bit. Um, I don't know how much we're we can... still in the uh, COVID scare, everything, so we don't know what they're going to let us do as far as cameras and masks and tests and whole nine. <laughs> yeah, but, we'll, but we'll give you an update after, regardless. Yes, yes, we will. Day one. Day one. To baby number two. <laughs> okay, so we just got done with appointment number one. Um, it was basically a whole bunch of new policies, new rules, new everythings. Um, a lot of COVID stuff. Thank God for COVID, right? And it's just annoying, but... Yeah, Tony couldn't be a part of my appointments. He had to do his appointments and then leave. So that was... That was fun. Annoying. Thank you. Kind of bright, huh? Kind of bright. So I, I had just... an ultrasound and everything was perfect with my ultrasound. Before I had low blood flow to my uterus and today my blood flow was perfect. So, um. She's got good blood flow. Yeah, I was happy about that. Um, hysteroscopy, everything looked great. My C-section scar looks totally smooth without a bunch of. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> without a bunch of scar tissue. They had to poke me twice. I only got poked once. So annoying. And Dr. G, when he came in to do my hysteroscopy, he ran up to me and gave me the biggest hug. That's good. Yeah, so he makes you feel so good. He does. He's, he's a good doctor. He's a really good doctor. And of course, he wanted to know all about Maggie, and um, he was he's a really good guy. So. Did you say she's a meathead? No, I said she's a lovey. She's, our, she's my little meathead, and that's my good term of endearment for her. Endearment. <laughs> no. Endearment. <laughs> So anyways, day one, we got all of our meds. Um, meds were expected to be about $1,700 and my insurance covered them. Um, so I think it ended up being like 400. So we are stoked about that. Um, it's gonna work out pretty nice where Nicole's gonna harvest a deer and then go get impregnated. Like within a 24 hours of each other, she's got a deer tag that first week of October, and it's pretty much the first week of October when you know I'm gonna be on all of those meds and I'm gonna be kind of crazy and like You're ragey, very ragey and crazy. <laughs> but the prednisone's gonna make me crazy, yeah. I think it's gonna be fun and meaningful, yeah. So, all about hunting with you, well, it's a yes. So we're excited. We'll take you guys along, I guess. Yeah, it'll be fun. Uh, everyone has so many questions about IVF, so we're happy to take you along. Uh, this is our third frozen embryo transfer. The first one, if you don't remember, we miscarried. The second one, we put two embryos in, and we got Maggie, we miscarried the other embryo. And this will be our third. This will be fourth. Third. Third? third. Well, fourth egg. Fourth egg. Third we don't, and we only have four eggs. This is our last. Our last embryo and hopefully our last um, frozen embryo transfer as well. Yep. Two babies. All right, we're gonna get lunch. Love you guys. Hi. Hi everyone, Maggie and I here. We just wanted to give you a quick update. 
My cycle is supposed to start later in the week. It is five days early. It showed up today, which means I'm not really sure what that means. So we're kind of waiting for the doctor to call us back to see if I should start meds today, if I should wait a few days, if they're gonna push my transfer up. Um, yeah, we're a little concerned about it, but at the same time, it's out of our control. Not much we can do about it. What? Tell them. But I wanted to take this moment to show you a few of my meds I have to take. This, this is called Endometrian. This is a um, uh, suppository of progesterone, and it looks like a little capsule. Actually, it's more like a pill, kind of like a dry pill. I will have to do this um, twice a day and three times a day after I'm pregnant. Again, a vaginal suppository. That's that one. And then we'll have to do progesterone and oil. This is so super thick and it is injected with a huge needle. I'm gonna open one so you can see. It is, I'm kinda scared to be honest with you. It's like, how did I do that before? How did I? So this is the needle. I don't know if I can get it out of here. Yes. <laughs> can you see that? So that whole, that's an inch and a half. This is 22 gauge and it will be injected all the way into my butt muscle. And that one I'm most nervous about. Um, okay, Maggie, Maggie, I thought you'd be fun to do this with, no? No? And then I have to do Viagra suppositories. These are also vaginal suppositories. They're kind of like a torpedo shape. <laughs> Silly. Uh, these I'll have to do four times a day. This is for blood flow to my uterus. Now. Okay, okay, do you wanna get down? I'm all right. Oh, okay. Now these, uh, I don't really have to do because my blood flow showed really good this month, but um, I'm gonna do them anyways because I did them with Maggie and they worked, so I hate to not do them. Yeah, that's the progesterone and oil. I think so, right? Yeah, oil would be really safe. Stop with that. Here, you can play with these. These are my oral medications. Um. I don't even know what they are. Uh, this one's prednisone. I'm on prednisone, um, five milligrams for till I'm eight weeks pregnant, I believe. So this also I'm quite nervous about. Poor Tony. I'm going to be a little crazy. I'm going to be a little, um, probably on edge. I know I gained so much weight with this, but again, all worth it. And that's just the antibiotic to make sure I don't get an infection. And then lastly is, um, estradiol patches <coughs> excuse me i will do four of these patches by the time it's all said and done again probably until i'm eight to ten weeks pregnant there, a lot of these medications i do tell them i shouldn't say a lot of them all of them i will do until i am eight to ten weeks pregnant depending on how everything's looking um hopefully we get pregnant and all is good uh this is this is the needle that's very sharp we'll put that away okay. yeah i uh am very nervous about all this all over again i think because I know what to expect. I've done it before. Um, now that doesn't mean I don't want to, obviously. We really, really want to, but it's hard. It's gonna be really hard. But look at this. For, for this little baby, it's all worth it, huh, Maggie? Okay, so hopefully the nurse calls me back soon. Um, I called her at 7.30 this morning. It is now 10.30. She hasn't returned my phone call yet. So we're waiting very patiently. Yeah, that impatiently so um hopefully we get an answer i just hope they can rig my cycle a little bit just to keep the same transfer date because um i've really worked my schedule all the way around how this is supposed to go as far as appointments i have to go to i think four or five appointments before my transfer so i've kind of like rigged to already be in town our clinic is three hours away so it's not like it's very convenient to go without a plan. So I'm hoping my plan doesn't have to change too much. Okay, should we go play? Can you say bye-bye? Bye-bye, we're gonna go play. Bye-bye, friends. Bye-bye, friends. We'll update you when we know more, I guess. Hopefully Daddy can update them, huh? Okay. With that, yeah. <laughs> okay, bye-bye, friends. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.
wanted to introduce you to our latest little addition here, Coco. Um, our little rescued Yorkie, who we rescued off the highway. Nicole rescued off the highway, actually. So, we, we've already made one addition to the family. We're going, going full steam ahead with the second addition. Well, fourth edition, right? Oh, I know. Timo and Coco. Um, yeah, what 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 do you got, honey? We we started the first initial visit. We led with that earlier, and now it's now it's really gonna get rolling here. Yeah, I have um, many appointments coming up. Monday is my first ultrasound. I have been on. How many days of medication have I been on? I think I started it on Tuesday. Yeah, it was a Tuesday or Wednesday, so. Yeah, today's Friday, so I've been on medication for a couple days now. So far, so good. It's Right now, it's just the uh, estrogen patches on my stomach and uh, Viagra suppositories four times a day. And all of that has been super easy. I have a light headache, but nothing um, bad at all. Um... Yeah, so Monday I have an appointment. I'll take you along with that. That's my first ultrasound to make sure everything is looking good. Um, of course, each appointment you have to check off the list. If it doesn't check off, there's a chance that it could be canceled for whatever reason. So we're hopeful that doesn't happen. Um, I'm going to do acupuncture three times a week next week as well, leading up to to help blood flow and you know stay calm and stress-free, all that good stuff. And you got a crazy week ahead of you this week. So by the time you see this, happy birthday, Joe. I hope the surprise was fun. <laughs> I hope your surprise birthday party cats out of the bag by the time you see this one. So yes, we're going to Estes happy Park birthday. to surprise my cousin for his 40th birthday. So we're doing that tomorrow. So um, yeah, so we're driving all the way to Estes. Uh, Estes is about three hours from us, so it is not close and then we'll go to denver for all of our appointments and maggie and i all stay down there for over a week i have an appointment monday uh saturday and then the following monday at ccrm those will all be ultrasounds and blood work make sure everything is great um it'll just be me and tebow up here holding down the fort yeah so that's covid's that. still going strong so there's really not much i can be a part of yeah, they don't really let him just come, so that's kind of frustrating, but it's okay. I mean, the doctor did reassure us that he can be there for the transfer, so hopefully that's yeah. dicks. That'll be good. Yeah, and then the, the following Thursday, is our transfer really in like 10 days? Ah, seems like it, I guess. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's scary. We could be pregnant in 10 days. We will be pregnant in 10 days. That's scary. Yes. So we're getting more and more excited about it. Um... I'm getting more and more nervous about the shots. Those will start next Monday. Um, that's probably the worst of it, right? Yeah. So, but all is good. We're kind of, we're kind of uh, seeing more to the future and trying to envision this little one with us next year. Yeah. How are you feeling about that's it? That's scary. <laughs> that's scary. You, you just have the flashbacks of, well, here's another six months of no sleep and still got one we got to potty train and we she gotta just, go do another one she just turned two we'll potty train her soon yeah uh, it's scary for me but it's gonna be fast forward two years from now it's gonna be enjoyable yeah what are you mostly scared just having two kids just doing through the whole sleepless process again is the ivf scary or not as much as the whole just having a newborn uh i think just having a newborn IVF scares me a little bit. Having a newborn scares me a little bit. It's all. It's having all a newborn is rough. I mean, everyone that has had one can tell you that having a newborn is not easy. Oh, especially like now knowing, now knowing what you have, what, what it brings. It's scary. <laughs> well, and then you can't just sleep whenever you want to because no. now you have a toddler that runs around. Yeah. What are we doing? <laughs> it's going to be fun. Well, we're only putting one embryo in this time. With Maggie, we put in two. So um, we had the chance of twins with her, and that didn't work out. But at least this time, mm -hmm. you know it's going to be one. That helps, right? Yeah, and, and you just you can't leave one on ice. No, we cannot leave one baby on ice. 
that was wearing on us both just thinking that we'd only have one child and leaving one on that's just mm -hmm. we can't do that yeah the one on ice just thinking about that was hard mm -hmm. yeah so this one has to stick because we can't do that whole thing all over again so nope, we're putting this, all our eggs in this basket this is it um yeah <laughs> all right stay tuned hit the subscribe button is that what i'm supposed to say <laughs> i guess yeah okay All uh right. tony don't tell them what your biggest fear is you were telling me earlier today S super quickly my biggest fear yeah is if you can love more than one heights baby. Oh, oh oh heights heights really <laughs> that's gonna be tough to like as exciting as fun as maggie is and as much as we love her, it's like, can you repeat that? You know, can you, I know, I know you, we will, and I know it, people have more than one kid all the time. So fill me in how, it, it's gotta just come natural, but it just seems like everything's been so exciting, so new and so fun with Maggie that I don't, I, I have trouble wrapping my head around how, is that, is some of that excitement lost or, you know, you, do you still love it all, or I, I have terrible time wrapping my head around that. If that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. How do you love two so. kids just like you loved Maggie? Right? Exactly. Yeah. And how do you continue loving Maggie that much mm -hmm. with a newborn? Yeah. Yep. So tell us about that. Yeah. I also want to know: Was it harder for you to go from zero babies to one baby, or one baby to two babies? Which is harder? Leave it in the comments because I am dying to know. Going from zero to one was pretty hard. If it's one to two, I don't want to know because that's because that's what we're trying to do. So they say that going from two to three is the hardest transition. I think. Yeah. So hmm. if you have multiple kids, let us know. Yeah. All right. Love you guys. Bye. Bye. Hello. Today is Monday the twentieth. I just had my first ultrasound and blood work. Um, the blood work will check my estrogen levels. I feel like they're kind of high. I do have a lot of headaches recently. Um, I'm on two patches on my stomach. I think I go all the way up to four patches. Um, but all is good. I had an ultrasound. The ultrasound tech said everything looked perfect. My ovaries are nice and quiet. And my lining is a triple layer, which is good. And it's already measuring 7.94. So almost eight. And for transfer, they want it anywhere from 8 to 12. So I'm already there, so that's good. And then they'll start me on progesterone to kind of lock it in place. I'll have another ultrasound on Saturday. So Saturday will kind of be a, a really, really important appointment to kind of make sure that I'm on track for our October 1st transfer. So I'll keep you posted. I'm so happy that it's all good. Uh, you know, with fertility treatments, you just kind of like check one thing off the list as you can. Like, okay, one appointment down. Okay, this is good. Going through all these steps, there's a chance they could cancel your cycle based on anything. If your lining's too thin, if it's too thick, if it's whatever, if your estrogen levels are too high, if they're too low, same with progesterone, they'll, um, they'll kind of cancel it for any reason. So you're kind of on pins and needles until that day actually comes. Um, and of course, if it does get canceled, you're out all that money that led up to it, medications and appointments. And I think today's appointment was like $400 or something ridiculous. So um, we bought it in a package. They kind of do like a package for a frozen embryo transfer. So I'm not sure exactly what it costs, but it's not, not cheap. So um, again, check it off the list. Uh, see you Saturday. Good morning. It is Saturday early. 7 o'clock in the morning. I am here at CCRM. I just got my ultrasound and now my blood work and um, all is good. I was very nervous this morning. Today was my um, deciding factor of when exactly my transfer would be. So if they saw something crazy on my ultrasound or if it was my lining was too thick or too thin or there's lots of reasons they could cancel it. So Good news is my ultrasound looks perfect. My lining is at 9.75, which is great. Anything in between 8 and 13 is what they said. So I think with Maggie, it was like only like 8.5 and they wanted it a little bit thicker. So I'm happy with that. 
Um, hopefully my blood work is all good. I'll get a call around 11, they said, for that. Um, so transfer is in six days. Bah! So I start injections on Monday. So, um, yeah, I'm nervous for the injections. I think I said that before. But this week has been great. I have done um, acupuncture three times this week. I'll do it again twice next week. Um, I have another appointment with CCRM on Monday for more blood work. Um, yeah, all is like going perfectly. And I feel more at peace this time around. I'm not sure if it's because I know what to expect or if it's because I have a baby or I don't know. I feel oddly um, confident this is going to work. So I hope that doesn't come back and bite me because I have a feeling that if it doesn't work then I'll be more crushed than ever before so um yeah I am so excited I wish Tony was here I have been away from him now for over a week 10 days we've been in Denver doing all these appointments it was just too hard to go back and forth and when you're in state they make you buy a package you can't do your monitoring um locally which my local is still an hour plus away so um that doesn't really help me that much so I'm happy to be here and to see their doctors with their lab and then all the lab work will be um comparable from the same lab there's like a there's like a small small air between labs so all is good thank you so much for watching next video you see I'm sure I'll be transferring okay okay <clears throat> do you see my spot oh yeah okay Okay, you don't have to pinch it. Oh, you don't? No. Okay, oh, okay. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. I gotta get off my foot. Okay, tell me when you're gonna do it. Okay, one, uh, one, two, three. Gosh darn. It might take a minute. One down.